welcome 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 to my channel today we are going over another interaction on our let amulis pop the balloon or find love for the most part i will allow you guys to watch the entire interaction after which i'll give my final thoughts at the end however wherever there are interesting segments in there i will definitely go ahead and pipe in and while you watch please remember to go ahead and like comment and subscribe if you so feel the need to and if the content i'm covering is to your liking you can also go ahead and you know give me some feedback let me know how I'm doing, how can I improve for you guys. But enough for me. Let's go. Hey, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name is Anthony. Anthony, how old are you? I'm 29. And what do you do? Uh, I'm an entrepreneur and I also work for a family business. Okay, very cool. Uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, I'm a bowler. I also like to hoop. And so I'm a competitor, so I also like to, um, I like to play, I would say, let's say skating. Yeah. Skating, yeah. okay. I'm a skater. <laughs> and now what are the things you look for in a woman? I look for a woman that's humble, that's down to earth. Also a woman that's going to support me in the things that I do. Mm -hmm. And I also look for a woman that's going to, um, I would say that's in ambitious, mm. has her own goals. Okay, now what are some deal breakers? A deal breaker is a woman that's disrespectful, a woman that's argumentative, and a woman that's not ambitious. Okay. All right. So we did get a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Let's start over here with your name and age. Ish, and I'm 28 years old. Okay. And Ish, why did you end up popping your balloon? You seem like a great young man. It was just the initial attraction. No, guys, we always speak about hive behavior when it comes to women. And if I could pull it back for a second, I would show you the look on the face of a lady who has yet to pop her balloon. And this will explain to you exactly what I'm saying. Let's see if I can pull it back for just a second and you will see what I'm talking about. Let's go. I would say... Let's say skating. Yeah. Skating, okay. Yeah, I'm a <laughs> and now, what are the things you look for in a woman? I look for a woman that's humble, that's down to earth. Also, a woman that's going to support me in the things that I do. Mm -hmm. And I also look for a woman that's going to, um, I would say, that's in ambitious, mm -hmm. has her own goals. Okay. Now, what are some deal breakers? A deal breaker is a woman that's disrespectful, a woman that's argumentative, and a woman that's not ambitious. Okay. All right, so we did get a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Let's start over here. Okay, if you look at the facial expression of the lady who has not popped her balloon as yet, you will see what I'm talking about. This is like musical chairs, and she's the one that's left without a seat. Here look at her. Door. Look at that. She is at this point ensuring or let's say double checking to see if she is really the last person holding a balloon. And this is what goes on in the mind of women, gentlemen. This is what happens in the mind of these women. I will keep repeating what I've always said. Zero women want a man that no woman wants. She may not, half of these people may not have their own personal reasons for popping. But the hive mentality dictates that once the more women pop, the more women will have to pop. And Wookie, Ray Ray, and Nook Nook, 
are waiting. But let's go. Name and age? Ishan, I'm 28 years old. Okay. And Ish, why did you end up popping your balloon? You seem like a great young man. It was just the initial attraction. Okay. Was there anything specific? His face? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so now, is Ish someone that's your type? Absolutely. I like this race. I like the shoes she got on. Thank and you. And the hair is pretty nice. Thank you. Let's go to our next lady here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hey, I'm Tara. I'm 24 years old. And I think it was just off initial attraction um, and maybe the outfit a little bit. I don't think I would have put those shoes with those pants. But, yeah, I think that's it. So what shoes would you put with the pants? <laughs> um, so which one would you rather have, the shoes or the pants? I'd rather have the pants. The pants. Not gonna lie. Okay, so um, maybe it, something a little dressier, because those are more like kind of casual. Yeah, so not, not loafers. Y n not those kind. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, like you're very handsome and well spoken. So I appreciate yeah. that. You're welcome. <laughs> now, is uh, she someone that's your type? Absolutely, she's. I don't think I can repeat this enough. When asked to elaborate and articulate a specific reason, women generally struggle. And this goes back to the whole concept that women and accountability do not mesh well. Because 99% of women go through life saying whatever they want, having whatever opinion they want, without having anyone fact check them or challenge them on their opinion, especially men. Because most men that these women come in contact with want to sleep with them and most men are simps. And this is why you as a man have to distance yourself from the 99% of men out there who are simps who will do anything to please a woman so he can get in her pants. No morals, no convictions, no goals for himself. However, with that mentality, he keeps getting what he wants from women so then women take this to mean that if a man wants something from her, he has to simp for it. And most men do, to be honest. But not every man, not you watching this video. You should not be simping for a woman. But let's go pretty she's very beautiful i love the dress and thank you yeah, like somebody didn't like it yeah. early oh, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all right let's go to our next lady if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon renee i'm 25 and i pop because um firstly the height i like my men a little taller than me so okay taller so Than me. Come. I will address two things. This young lady, who is about 5'11", possibly 6 feet tall, she's wearing heels. She wants a man that is taller than her while she is in heels. And that to me shows just how lost, how delusional how stupid some women are and she works in law enforcement you would think she has common sense but alas she has shown that regardless this is just a mentality of women. 
No. Back to the other young lady. I can't even fully recall what she said. However, it was along the line of the guy's dress and what goes with what. It goes back to they have always been able to say whatever they want, whatever delusional trash without anyone fact checking them. But let's go. Completely. I want to be looking up to you. How tall are you? 5'11". Okay. So yeah. How tall do you think I am? I think you're probably about five, my height. 5'11", maybe... Nah. Oh, no. <laughs> He's definitely like 6'3". For sure. No. Yes. Wait, 6'3"? Yes. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. For sure. But still, I like them just a little taller. For sure. But other than that, you're very handsome. Thank you. Nice okay. to meet you. <laughs> now, is she someone that's your type? I know she just called you short, but, you know, let's see. You know, it's all good. Um, but I would have to say no. Okay. I would have to say right. no. And why not? Um, just initial attraction, yeah. Let's head on over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Dee. I'm 27. I pop. I'm well. <laughs> I pop because I'm not attracted to you. Understood. So sorry. You're good looking. I love your outfit. Okay. <laughs> Understood. Look, he's so understanding. <laughs> now, is she someone that's your type? Uh -huh. I say, yeah. I love me a dark skinned woman. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name is Kamina. I'm 27 years How old. You doing? Hi, I popped my balloon with the argumentative thing. I feel like every relationship, people have disagreement. Like, I wouldn't say argumentative because I know sometimes, like, I have my opinions about stuff and I don't know if you'll take it like that. So. If at 27 years old, you are unable to identify what someone being argumentative means, then you are stupid. I mean, having disagreements and having different points of view and communicating is a natural part of any relationship. So basically, you have decided that he is saying what you have unpacked from what he said is you don't have a say in anything you have to submit to him and not have a voice that is how your bird brain translated that I, I, I get you okay fair enough let's go so I don't know about that comment, to be honest. Want to elaborate? When I say argumentative, it's like you want to go back and forth, like you want to be right. I'm looking for a woman that wants to get the problem solved. Like we're here for each other. We're not here to make each other, like I'm right and you're wrong. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's what I was looking for. That's understandable. <laughs> Let's go on over here. We can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Carrington. I'm 26. How you doing? good um i pop my balloon because i'm really particular about um sir i don't want to say fetishes that i have but it just it wasn't it for me okay. sorry so I feel like i'm scared to ask what's this fetish right. <laughs> we gotta know <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not like inappropriate or nothing like that but like from here to here there's certain things that i look for elaborate oh <laughs> it seems like you know a, a what beard, you want. like what is it? no it's not like um just as far as the lips the jawline the teeth things like that like oh, i'm really crazy. like you are super handsome love the outfit like your that, hair you know? all that your chain you look great appreciate it's just that. i am super particular understood so. <laughs> now is Carrington your type? You're very beautiful. Thank you. I love what you got going. Toes are pretty. Like thank the shoes. you. Thank you. Yeah, definitely attractive. Thank you. All right, let's go on over here. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon? Uh, yeah, I'm Kay. I'm 27. Um, it was just a, an attraction thing. I'm not attracted, but you're dressed very nice. For I sure. That. For sure. <laughs> All right, now she's someone that's your type. I would say no. Okay. Yeah. And why not? Um, maybe just not my type in initial attraction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, let's go over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Christina. I'm 24. How you doing? I was going to say attraction as well. Right. But I do really like your shirt and I like your answers. Mm -hmm. And I think you're a really good spirit person. I do appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then what was it? Um, <laughs> yeah, the initial attraction. Like, I just didn't feel like a spark, you know? I was going to say attraction. However, the reason why I popped my balloon was... Attraction. <laughs> Let's go. Um, yeah. So what are you looking for? What am I looking for? You don't even know. Somebody on the track? No. You don't even know. Bars, my brother. Bars. You don't even know. Say somebody I'm attracted to, um, but yeah. So, is she your type? No. Okay. Why not? Because she doesn't know what she wants. I do. I just don't want to be mean. I don't. You don't have to. Come you don't have to be mean yeah. to tell someone the truth. Be honest. Well, yeah. I just don't. I'm not attracted to like, yeah. Your your my face. face? Yeah. Understood. But I really like your energy. I appreciate yeah. that. Let's go on over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hello, I'm Kia, 29. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. So I won't copy and paste the initial attraction. Okay. Show me something different. <laughs> I will say I didn't get like the butterflies. You know, mm. you deserve for someone to be all over you when they first see you. I like your you. answer. So that's why. But you look like one of those Egyptian sculptures. <laughs> yeah, you do. You do. No, that. That. Disrespect went over a lot of people's heads. That disrespect went over a lot of people's heads. Now, what she is referring to is his nose, his face. Because remember, a lot of the Egyptian sculptures, a lot of the Egyptian sculptures had their noses removed or weathered or whatever the case may be. However, there is this ongoing concept that these sphinx, these sculptures, had huge noses. And that is where this is coming from. She is saying, bro, your nose she is basically saying, move your nose so I can see your face. But that went over a lot of people's heads. Do. I understood. Yeah. All right. Now, she's someone that's your type? Absolutely. I like what she got going on. Love the dress. Thank love you. the shoes. Love what you put together. Oh. And if you realize... These ladies live for the men to compliment them, to say these platitudes that this young man keeps uttering. You realize her facial expression. She's all up in there, oh Lord. When she gets complimented, her value increases. So compliments from men increases her value. So now her no <laughs> Her nose is further in the air and she is more of a woman because she was complimented. There you go. They did so what much. you had to do today. Thank you. We somewhat matched. So oh, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. mind your fit. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. All right. So that is all of the balloons popped. But we do thank you so much for coming on. I Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. Thank you. Yes, yes, and that's the end of that interaction on Pop the Balloon. These ladies, I keep saying, are mostly here for a viral moment. To get their Instagrams and their socials filled with simps trying to get in their good graces. This is what most of these women are here for. I think, like many other things, 
this is becoming played out. The women, the trashy women, are slowly but surely taking away the heart out of this social experiment. They're taking away the authenticity, the authenticity of Pop the Balloon. It was a great concept. However, just like the clubs that were the big thing at one point, once some people get to these clubs, they start getting broken down. This is what we have going over here. It's mostly for viral content that most of these ladies actually come onto the show. I stand on what I said. Guys, go ahead, share the video, like the video, comment, and subscribe. Let's see how we get it. Let's see how it's done once again. Every day, misogyny with your host, Mr. Misogynist. Let go.